So we want. I want to address the issue of UPND and this uh, uh, that idiot that they call the Minister of uh, Information. It's what I want to address. So quickly, uh, hurry, hurry, hurry! Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. It's very, very important for you to hear what I want to say. Quickly share the broadcast. It's very important for everyone to hear what I want to say. I didn't advertise this. I didn't post anything about this. When a dog wants to bite, it doesn't bark a lot. That's why I didn't make noise. I decided to come and speak to you. Because whatever you are going through in Zambia today, I am the number one culprit. You can argue, we, you can come here, we argue, you can come here, we talk, we fight, you insult in the comment section. Who is C1? C1 is a nobody. C1 was a nobody. C1 didn't do anything. But I am boldly telling you that I was the, the, the greatest campaigner for a church. I campaigned the greatest for a church. There is no one in the history of Zambia that gathered over 30 to 35,000 people for a campaign. No one. I did it. So whatever the people of Zambia are going through today, I see a one. Was, I am part of it. So when people cry, I, I must not keep quiet because I campaign for a church. I must not keep quiet when I see that things are going wrong. It's not possible. You can come here, you can argue, you can insult me, you can say many, many things as a praise singer. As of course, 90% of praise singers are fools. Let me say it again. Hear it from C1. And we are going into this war. I'm going to be explaining it to you. 90% of praise singers in Zambia are fools. They don't reason with their brain. There is nothing in their brain. So that's why when they comment, they ask, see, I want you didn't do anything like that other idiot. They are minister of, uh, what, minister of uh, information, calling news. Uh, that one, I heard him the other day saying, ah, see, I want didn't do anything. People of Zambia just decided to change the government. You are a fool. People of Zambia has been deciding to change the government. HH has been in opposition for for he contested the election for five or six good times and he failed. You don't know anything. That's why you talk rubbish. Anytime you open your mouth to talk, you talk rubbish. Anytime you open your mouth to speak, you speak rubbish. That is Colinius, Muetua, or what? That's why you don't know anything. When when election was won, you don't know how election was won. I am going to tell you how election was won. You don't know anything about the election. Even many of you that are just watching, you, you just hear that when I want to talk, uh, you ah, see I want, people, people wanted to change government. That's why they voted HH. They have been voting for HH for years. But without our impute, HH was not going to be a president. So when I'm talking, I know what I'm talking about. I'll be showing you evidence on how election was won. Those of you that thought that ah, it was just an election, you don't know anything. You know absolutely nothing. So if you're a press singer, you are here, you don't want to learn something, you are coming here, you want to criticize here one, I want to tell you in advance that you are a fool. I want to tell you in advance that you are useless. Unless you, have, you want to come here, 90% of uh, uh, press singers are poor. They are hungry. Their leaders are not hungry. The youth, uh, 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 youth uh, leader for UPND, who was a nobody, who was a non-entity before, as we speak today, is building lodges. That guy is driving supercars. As we speak today, he's a shareholder in a mine. A fool that was nothing before. Today is big. And you a praise singer that cannot even afford two, two, not even one full meal in a day. You still want to come and insult You don't know my relationship with HH. I'm going to share with you with evidence. HH, you know 
Because many of you don't know you, 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 you open your mouth, you talk. Hey, what? See, I one who didn't know it. See, I one was not talking to. You will see for yourself. Before we go there, I want to, I want to, I want you to look at this. Number one. I came few weeks ago and discouraged UPND from associating themselves with Tishimba Kambuid. Please, share this broadcast. Share this broadcast. Someone says, see, I want, you miss Zambia. What? What? <laughs> Have you been to Nigeria before? I mean, are you following see, one page or you are just a fool that just woke up? Compare what we are doing in Nigeria today. We are one year and a few months in Nigeria and we are leading the single largest congregation in this state. What do I miss in Zambia? Mention one thing, just one thing, one, one thing that I miss in Zambia. I'm not saying two things. Mention one thing that I miss in Zambia. Is it the wealth? The house that I stay, where I live today, is bigger than the house where a church stays. So where, what do I miss? Are you talking about cars? What, what do I miss? Are you talking about ministry? Can't you see that I have a ministry three times bigger than what I had in Zambia? So what do I miss? What do I want from Zambia? The fight that I'm fighting is for the people of Zambia. Because I am one of the reasons why they are suffering today. And that suffering is enough. I will not allow them to suffer again. Time has come for them to stop suffering. I'm saying it again. There is nothing. See a one. I see a one. Prophet see a one. Does not have any single thing. That I'm missing in Zambia. I don't miss anything. Not even a single thing. You miss your son. I don't miss my son. My son is here in Nigeria. There is nothing. Not even a single thing. Not even one thing. That I'm missing. So when you see me fighting, don't think that I read the I read the yes, Zesco issue, of course. The same thing happened in Nigeria, the same thing happened all over the world, especially in Zambia. I'm coming to that. But look at this. I read an article the other day that they claimed that was writ that was written by Dr. Muno. And that article is saying that HH is not allowing C1 to fly in. And out of Zambia. What am I flying into Zambia to do? What am I flying in and out to do? I don't have anything to fly. Am I going there to do ministry? How many people are there in Zambia? When you see me fighting, go to my page first. Verify how we see our one doing in Nigeria compared to what he was doing in Zambia. This is a country where even the government appreciates C1. The government appreciates C1. In my own country, I'm coming to share with you my relationship with HH so that many of you know how that election was won. You think that election was won by clapping hand or by shouting. Oh, oh. No! HH was not going to win election if we are not there. There are three police officers that came from, three intelligent cyber police officers that came from Uganda. And I'm going to show you evidence. Most of you think that winning the election is just all about we want change. Since a church was contesting election, five good times did he win election. He didn't win election and he cannot win. That's why this time around, I'm telling you that it's going to be war. about that i'm telling you that this time is going to be war it's not going to be as easy as abc we play the digalungu we destroy the digalungu for a church to become the president and we are ready to undo what we did we are ready to undo what we did we are ready we are the one that put a church there. We are ready to remove him from there. I'm going to show you evidence. 
you ask yourself from UPND, I'm going to be mentioning their name one after the other. I'm not alone in this. We are many. That's why I'm telling you that HH cannot stand. Once I start this thing, HH will not even finish his tenure. Anywhere the people of Zambia see him, they will speak saliva on him. Now, two weeks ago, or a week ago, I myself see a one. I carried my own money, my own data, and came live and told the church and told you PND, disassociate yourself from Chishimba Kambwiri. You think that I'm a fool? You think that you can use me, create an enmity between me and people? Today, Edgar Lungu is my enemy. Today, Chishimba Kambwiri is my enemy. You use me to create an enmity with them. Then you go behind and reconcile. You are a fool to think that that will happen. That you, both you and them, will step down. And I guarantee you that once you depart from that office, all of you are going to jail. I'm coming to corruption path because many of you that are watching this broadcast, you think that uh, uh, UPN is a gift from God. This is the government of angels. No! Go to community. I will tell you, go to community house today. I swear, you are going anywhere you see Eddie Galungu, you will bless him. You will know that Eddie Galungu was not corrupt. Eddie Ga, what you call corruption that was taking place during Eddie Galungu was a baby. I'm going to be giving you evidence. Now, look at this. I came. This is where my anger came. I came and I told you. I said to you. Disassociate yourself. Disassociate yourself from Chishimba Kambuid. Don't evacuate Chishimba Kambuid. Because this guy caused a lot of harm in Zambia. During the time of election, Zambia was divided into two because of Chishimba Kambuid. Get away. There are people, if you want association, you have people that helped you during election. A lot and a lot of people that helped you during election that you can help, that need help. Leave Tishimba Kambuid. If you are a bishop or a prophet and you want to be, you, you, are, you call yourself a president, a church, and, and you want to all of a sudden, you want to leave politics to come and do brotherly love and sisterly love, you resign and go and open a church. If you really, really wanted to forgive Kambuid, you pardon him. He has a lot of money. His family are not in Zambia. His wife is not there. His children are not there. Kambuli can afford to go to any country where he wants and take care of himself. I am saying that million you want to spend on Kambuli, use it on your people, the people that campaign for you. Use it and better their lives. Use that money and better the life of people that campaign for, or campaign for you. That is what I'm saying. That is what Siawan is saying. I am saying that money that you wanted to waste on Chishimba Kambiri, use it on your people. The people that you used and abandoned, your people are dying in the bushes. Your people are crying. They are poor all over. You are eating alone and the remaining, you want to use it to take care of Kambiri. I say don't associate yourself with him. If you love him, because to you, you are a wise man. We are fools. You made us to destroy Kambuiri. Eh? You made us to destroy Edigalungu. And behind, you pick up your phone and start calling Edigalungu. And start begging, my brother, my brother. So Edigalungu must see you as a good person. Then see us as a bad person, right? This game will not end well. It's not see a one that you can use and dump. It's not possible. People are suffering in Zambia. Because of corruption, the corruption that is taking place, if you doubt me, as I come with evidence, one of the presidential advisors at State House today, his family is the biggest mine supplier. Now, you are getting contracts using the influence of the government. How about the people? 
that campaign, when they come to you, you tell them, eh, no opportunity, work very hard. Are you working hard yourself? I said to you, leave Kambuiri. That guy is going to ignite a war between me and you. You think that you are fools. Somebody told you, hey, forget about CR1. CR1 has lost influence. CR1 cannot do anything. CR1 has lost influence. I am here live, unannounced, and almost 6,000 people are watching. What happened when I announced that I'm coming here? You are a fool to think that that can ever happen. I told you, leave this guy. Why is it that when you get into power, you become a fool? Edi Galungu was a very good guy. Edi Galungu was listening to me, and he was listening to everybody. He was a very humble guy. The moment he took over power, he became a fool. The same thing has happened to a church. That is why you had the audacity, you and Siva Masobo. Carry the money, the, the millions that you can give to your party. You can actually donate it to your party secretariat. If you go to UPND party secretariat, a party in power today, it looks like a, a katemba. It looks like a place where there was war. Go to PF, the people that left power many years ago, their party is still shining. Their party structure is still shining. All the money that is coming in is going into your pocket. No one cares about the people. No one cares about the people that suffer. No one ever want to care for them. And you think that you are wise. You carry the money that is meant for the people of Zambia. Since you took over power. Since you took over power. And you think you, you think that you are clever, eh, church? You took over power. And you think that you are wise. You, you don't know how you got into power. That's why when I look at your cadres who don't know my relationship with you, who are going to, who, who when they know our relationship, they, they will faint. When I see them insulting me, I laugh. We put you there. We used everything possible to put you there. And we are going to remove you from there. Because you are no longer using your senses. People have deceived you. You have been deceived. 100% deceived. You have abandoned the party that brought you into power. You don't have a relationship with the party that brought you into power. You have abandoned the people of Zambia. I came here. I told you people. In peace. Stay away from Chishimba Kambuiri. That guy has died politically. There is nothing he's going to offer to UPND. If Chishimba Kambuiri was very, very good, if, if he was very, very influential, why did Edgar Lungu lose the election? I told you people, I said, stay away from this guy. You went ahead because you think that now you have grown. And hey, see a one now, when he go live, only two people watch him, only three people watch him. When am I doing politics? People do not care about the ministry that I do. People follow me for politics. Have you forgotten? I am here unannounced. We are going to 7,000 people that are watching. HH, we are live today on your page. How many people watched you? Me and you, who has influence? When I announce, by the time I'm doing announcement, we are going to remove you. You are gone. You, are, you, you go. You'll be disgraced out of power. And let me tell you, losing election is not the problem. But what you will suffer, the consequences you will suffer, you will regret being a president. Why must you associate yourself with Cambodia? Cambodia is a criminal. He's a tribalist. Now, I was even wondering why I gave... And I gave an opinion, and the UPND went ahead and disobeyed me. Why? I didn't know that you were you have actually been working with Shimba Kambuye. That is according to your that idiot with the head like a, 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 a pumpkin. That pumpkin head. What is his name? What is the name of that? Uh, what? What? Uh, that idiot, Minister of uh, Information. He came openly and said that they have been working with Tishimba Kambuye. 
Actually, for those of you that are saying, ah, he didn't mean what he said. He didn't mean, watch that video very, very well. That is why I commend you, Fred Mende, for standing up and going to report that case to the police. Leave it there at the police. We are going to use that case in 2025 when politics become hot. You will know. Let's watch the police and see what they will do. That man said, actually, let me disclose. Meaning there was an agreement, a hidden agreement between the UPND and Chishimba Kambui. For UPND to go and insult the people of Tonga. I mean, you can actually, man, because of politics, insult your own people. Send someone to go and insult your own person. Send someone to go and insult your own person. Your own people. You send someone because of power. If I knew that it was like this, I was never going to join myself with you. By the time I was about to join you, you PF people came and told me to say, See, I want, look, the people you are joining to fight us, you will regret. I'm regretting. I can see that what they, they said was true. Number one, I've joined liars. But I can assure you, this is here one. I've never failed before. When I tell you that you are going, this is not the first time. This is not the second time. Once I come for you and tell you that you are going, I swear no one will save you from going. You are going. You will leave. And when you leave, you are going to spend the rest of your life in jail. Because I'm bringing to you the document of the transaction that you are doing as community house there. This is the first time. Oh, let me not go there now. But listen to this. I don't want to touch that now. I'm still coming. I want to address this case before I proceed. Listen to this very, very carefully. Zambians. Even if you are a fool, you are a press singer, you don't, you don't reason. Ask yourself, how many times have I eaten today? Do you know how much the government is spending in evacuating Chishimba Kambuiri? The same man that was supposed to be in jail now. The, I know people that are in jail for stealing 100 kwacha. Please, share this broadcast. If you are watching, share, share, share. Let everyone hear that it has started. The war that UPND has declared is going to swallow them. It's going to consume them. We shall see where this is going. Ask yourself, even you, you that is watching right now, how much do you have in your house? You voted for UPND. You voted for HH. How much have you benefited? Criminals that we remove from power is the one that government is spending millions upon millions to go and evacuate, to give him medicine. A criminal that can afford medication. Poor people are suffering. How much do you have in your account? How much do you have? If you are here, you voted for UPND. And I comment on the comment section. Tell me, how much do you have in your account? You voted. Now you cannot even afford twice, twice meal in a day. You voted. Now you cannot even afford clothes to wear. Everything is very expensive. Government that is struggling, government that is crawling, government that has been destroyed by corruption, where there is no money. You carry the money, you want to go and take care of a thief. A thief that can take care of himself. This is your downfall. I swear upon Godfather. This is just the beginning. We are, we are, we are starting. And let me tell you this. If you escape this, if you escape this, I will stop being a prophet. If you win this battle with me, whether you are going to engage me physically or spiritually, if you, if you win me, then I resign from being a prophet. If you win me, I will kill myself. I want to tell you that you are nobody. You are a government of minority. People don't love you. People started loving you because of the things that we are telling them. Your problem, your problem as UPND, 
started because you think that you are clever. Clever people. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> See the nyash of clever people. <laughs> clever people. Look at them. See clever people. I mean, look at your government spokesperson, a clever person, saying we, the criminal that was doing criminal activity, we were actually supporting him. We were actually in partnership with him. This is what a government minister was saying. Because of arrogancy, arrogancy. Who has arrogancy helped on earth? Who has arrogancy helped on earth? Mention one person in the history of the world that was that arrogancy helped. People are telling you that things are not okay in Zambia. People are crying. Since UPND took over power, they have not executed one single major pro pro project. Not even one single one. Arrogancy. No, people love us. People think that PF is a criminal. Which PF is a criminal? Is PF more criminal than the criminal activity taking place at State House and the Community House today? Eh? We are in the history of the world. People, a, a plan that was carrying gold and millions of dollars. This type of crime, if it was a man, if H H was a man that was serious with corruption, by now heads would have been rolling. They flew into the country, brought in weapons. Do you even know what it takes for you as a foreigner to come into another person's country with a weapon? They flew in with a weapon, flew in with dollars, and because of them, because of these guys, because of these guys, the whole light and the cameras at the airport was switched off. When PF was in power, did this type of corruption take place? Did this type of corruption happen? No! It didn't happen! We are the one that blackmailed PF, and we are going to come back and derail. And we, we are here. We are back. We are back. That black paint we put on them, we shall remove it. And we are going to help the pact to come together and remove a church and throw him inside prison. If we don't do it, Zambia will finish. I can assure you that Zambia will be gone. And we are ready for that. Prepare yourself. I'm saying organize yourself spiritually and physically. This is, I'm just starting. Did I announce that I was coming live? How many people are watching? Close to 8,000 people are here. One day, before you start a war, think about yourself. Let me tell you, when I was telling Eddie Galungu, he thought that power is there. And there were people around you who were telling him, ah, see, I want to not do anything. See, I want to say nobody. These people will not do anything. I can assure you that we have done it already. And we are going to do it again. Get ready. You, the fire that you started, you will never quench it. You want to play with me? I, I look like somebody that you can play with. HH, you, UPND. I mean, government that I, that government that, tell me in this government that, that can you match PF? I mean, PF, party of the poor. A party that took the poorest from the street and made them rich. When PF was in power, poor people were very rich. They were doing very well. There was food all over. Money was flowing up and down. And we managed to de remove them. Then this government of hunger, you mean you can stand? Forget it. You see this thing that you have started? I swear upon God's Father, you will not end it well. I told you, disassociate yourself Remove yourself. Remove yourself totally from Chishimba Kamburi. Chishimba Kamburi is a criminal. A whole government decided to associate themselves with a criminal. Are you mad? Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. I am talking and I'm still going to talk. Things are coming.
The other time I disappointed the people of Zambia. The reason why I disappointed you was not because I was giving money. What did the UPN give me? You say, ah, see, I want, you wanted to talk and they brought you bags of money. Because of that bag of money, you refused to talk. You used that money to build your house. Do you know how much it takes to build a palace? You think that the UPND government, the way they are, the way they are, spagly hand, can give you money to build a palace. Palace that is worth hundreds of hundreds of thousands of dollars. If it's so easy to build, does your president have it? Your president, all his money is at the offshore account. I will show you so that you know. I will show you so that you know who your president is. From the day we come in agreement and started working against PF, you are going to see everything. Because he thinks it's wise. His people think that they are wise. I will show them that they are not wise. And they can never be wise. Never. Why is it that I didn't I didn't proceed with the with the broadcast? I didn't proceed because number one, there was no serious opposition movement. Opposition, we are not serious. They were joking. Opposition was joking. Opposition, we are not serious. But can you imagine the man that I consider as my greatest enemy? Eddie Galungu. The man that I call my enemy. Eddie Galungu. I was live the other day and was giving an advice. I was actually fighting him. I was fighting Eddie Galungu with that broadcast. I was saying, Eddie Galungu, you did this, you did that. But if you want to come back to power, Leave PF. You guys must go and form another party. Immediately after that broadcast, he listened to what I was saying and he went and formed another party. He humbled himself. Eddie Galungu humbled himself. Eddie Galungu listened and humbled himself. He has made a pact. This, is, this was my enemy. This Eddie Galungu was my enemy. Ed Galungu was the criminal that I have been fighting. But I gave a simple advice. He took that advice. They have formed a pact. Oka. And as we speak today, Oka is making wave. If my enemy, the one that I blackmailed, the man that I spoke so many things against, would hear my voice and do the right thing, the people that I help to form government, you think that you are wise. You can do what you want. I say disassociate yourself from criminals. Don't evacuate Kambuiri. Use that money on poor people. Use it on your members. Your members are suffering. Your members are poor. This is the first time in history, in the history of Zambia, since I spent my years in Zambia, seeing a ruling party member, a beggar, use that money to take care of them. You went and took him to South Africa. How many millions are you going to pay? His flight. His accommodation. How many millions are you going to pay for that criminal? Let me tell you this. One of the reasons why I slacked back, I decided not to fight UPN, is because I was talking with one of the opposition leaders, the one who will likely take over from HH. And I told him to say, look, my brother, before HH came into power, I told him to say, be hard on corruption. HH, once you take over power, make sure that all the corrupt people are arrested and imprisoned. Yes, yes, yes. When he took over power, what did he do? He started from his ministers. His ministers went and started making friends with criminals. He started from the minister of Copper Belt. She went and brought all the whole Jarabo criminals and brought them into UPND and give and gave them a ceremonious welcome because he's a criminal. 
You can never separate a criminal from a criminal. A church called Faith Musonda. Faith Musonda, in her house, there were millions and thousands of dollars. He was released. Up to today, Faith Musonda is not in prison. But a young boy that stole 20 kwacha is languishing in prison. A person that stole 200 is languishing in prison. It's UPND, a party for the rich or for the poor. Answer me. Press singer. I know what you went through. My WhatsApp message is filled up by people that contested with UPND and lost election and they've been abandoned. If you are watching this broadcast, share it. Revolution has started. War has started. People, many of you, the reason why you support UPN is because you don't know how corrupt those guys are. When I come with you and give you evidence, uh, uh, what happened at the Ministry of Agriculture? Do you know the guys that are getting the fertilizer deal? What is their connection with HH? For the first time in the history of Zambia, permanent secretaries go to community house to go and sign documents. Do you want me to show you proof? I told you that these guys, when I talk about that, when I bring their corruption to you, when, when you see, before I started fighting at Digalung, people used to see him as, hey, he's a good man, because after every this thing, he will conduct prayer. Hey, let us pray in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, fire, blood of Jesus. People say, hey, Digalung is a humble man. Humble we are. That is the same way many of you don't know a church, but I've come to tell you who they are so that you understand what you are talking about. Since I, was, since I came to Zambia, I spent 10 years in Zambia, 10 good years in Zambia. And any time I went to Copper Belt to go and minister in the Copper Belt, I would see Black Mountain. Black Mountain was one of the symbols of the Copper Belt. But can I tell you, MMD came into power they couldn't finish Black Mountain. PF came into power. They couldn't finish Black Mountain. UPND came into power. Within a year, Black Mountain. Where did the money go? Have you asked yourself a question? Where is the money? We are going to empower the youth. How many youths were empowered from that Black Mountain? I don't want to have anything to do with them again. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that these guys <laughs> were they are <laughs> but I'll show them. I'll show them. I've written all of them today. I've written them say take thank you for working together. But I'm not going to allow the people of Zambia to suffer because I am one of the reasons why they are suffering. Share this broadcast. I have one word that I want to share with you. Share this broadcast. If you are watching, even if you have shared it before, share it again. This word, everyone must hear it. When I say this one, I'm going to close. And I'm going to make an announcement here on the day that another broadcast is coming. And share it. I want to sh just give you one secret. One. Nothing destroys a man than arrogance. There is no man on earth that is an island. There is no man on earth that can do it alone. When HH took over power, I was, I am going to show you, I was one of the first people that received this message. Many of you don't know my relationship with a church. That's why sometimes when I look at Simon, the, the, the idiot with a big gnash, that by now he should actually be doing something proper with his life and securing future for his children. When I look at him talk about myself and a church, I laugh. Wait, we have started. You are, be, you are going to be seen one after the other. When a church won election, I was one of the first people that he thanked. I still have that text message. I will show you. And you will see everything. 
Now, when you win election, the first thing you do is not to push away the people that helped you win the election and start taking advice from your friends or from fools. The first thing you do is to gather all the people that helped you and ask them what is the way forward. H.H. If I was to advise him when he won election, I was going to tell him to say, look, this is IMF. This is China. My brother chose China. Go to China. Make peace with China and continue from where Idigalungu stopped. But because HH and the people around him believed that they were wise, they abandoned China and went to IMF. Praise Singa. People of Zambia, how many bridges has IMF sponsored in Zambia since HHS took over power? Share this, share this, share this quickly. Share it now, now, now. Yes, see one I've shared. I'm happy with what you are saying. See one welcome back. I'm back. Share it again now. Share in all the groups. In all the WhatsApp groups, share it now. Let the whole world hear that I've started. And when I start, I don't stop. Because before I start, I give, I have, I'm a patient person. I watch and see what we promise the people is see what is taking place. Now, a church, because he's a know it all human being, he jumped on the plane, started flying. From one Western program to another program. From one Western program to another program. Westerners are broke. They don't have money. China are the ones that have money. You are owing China billions upon billions. You abandon China, you go to France. France is owing China also. You, what you are supposed to do, if, if he was... The way he was in opposition, if he continued, he was going to straight and quickly go to China. It's what I was going to advise him. He would go to China and they continue with China. He may not borrow as much as PF borrowed, but I know Chinese, there is a way you enter in agreement with them. They even cancel your loan because they have money. There is nothing that they are doing with money. America is owing them today. HH was deceived. He went to IMF. IMF, we are going to reconstruct the debt. We are going to do this. You follow white people. White people don't have money. IMF don't mean well for Africa. Last week, IMF sent a message to our president here in Nigeria, President Bola Tinubu, and told him to introduce full subsidy remover. Say so remove subsidy completely so that you can raise money to pay us. IMF does not mean well for African people. IMF wants us to die of hunger. They don't care about the poor. They don't care about the poor. How on earth can you come into power where petrol was being sold at 15 quarter? IMF tell you to increase it to 30 quarter and you agree. Who suffers? The poor are the ones suffering. The rich will not suffer. Can't you see that IMF does not care about the poor? If they care about the poor, they will never ask you to remove subsidy. Subsidy is the only way that poor people are using to survive. If you talk to China very, very well, nicely, they are going to listen to you. They are going to listen to you. But because unfortunately we have a president that knows everything with his people. I mean, you have, fly, you have traveled more than, I don't know how many times. No single achievement, not even, not even a single bridge. Eddie Galungu that we are laughing, we are calling corrupt. Look at the type of the quality hospitals that he was building. Look at the roads that he was making. Look at the, the schools that he was building. Look at the houses for the police. What has IMF done for the people of Zambia? 
they deceived you. You were flying. France, whew. England, whew. If you know there is South Africa here, yeah. Ghana, Ghana, Ghana don't, that don't have anything. Ghana is like one state in Nigeria. Ghana is an extension, Nigerian extension. The way Malawi is to Zambia, that is how Ghana is to Nigeria. You fly, whew, you entered. Fly, whew, whew. All those billions that you have wasted, what is the result? What have you achieved? It's because you don't listen. If you were listening to us the way you were listening to us when you were in opposition, I trust me, by now you are going to deliver. Now China has closed their doors. You can pretend. How can a whole president visit a country and spend more than three days before meeting the president of that country? Has it happened ever in the history of the world? No! Because China don't want to have anything to do with you. If you listen to us, China was going to give you what is needed to develop your country. Next year, the campaign is going to be, tell us what you have achieved. And then, then you are going to be appointing those, pointing those toilets that you are building. At, this is CDF. CDF, my foot. What is CDF? Toilets. Toilets. You build, you go, you build one bedroom. Hey, see, we have done CDF. CDF useless. CDF sick. CDF nonsense. There is nothing that is happening in Zambia. What is CDF? Nothing, nothing. There is absolutely nothing taking place in Zambia today as I'm talking about. Businesses are closing. Poor people are dying. And you have the guy to send Kamburi to South Africa to go and get medication. Kamburi was a, a, he was a minister. He has been a minister for years. If he built from all the money he stole, if he built hospital in where he's coming from, was he going to fly to South Africa? Politicians, the problems with you people is that you think that people are fools. We agreed, you, HH, we agreed that once you enter, take over power, you are going to arrest all the criminals. Where are the criminals? How many of them are in jail today? Tell me one of them that is in jail today. Nothing. So, because it is us, we are the ones that accuse them of being crime, criminal people. We are coming back to clean their name. In my next broadcast, I am going to say sorry to President Edgar Chagwalunku. Because I can see that uh, what we accused him, the things that we are talking about, I can see that... Uh, UPND. UPND was actually the one be through the mouthpiece, through their mouthpiece. UPND, through their spokesperson, said that they are the one that we are sponsoring tribalism. So we have to apologize to the PF for accusing them wrongly. We have to apologize to Edgar Lung for accusing him wrongly. We have to apologize to everyone that we offended everyone that we offended we have to apologize to them because surely i think they were innocent if them a whole minister government spokesperson the mouthpiece of government says that they are the one they we are working together with Kambuiri, insulting and the bringing insulting the tonga people bringing hatred among the people of zambia if the spokesperson can say this it means we owe pf an apology and I see a one. In my next broadcast, I will start that apology. When I start that apology, I will not share with you. During the election in uh, Zambia, there were three police officers, cyber police officers, that came from Uganda. I will tell you what they came to do. And I will tell you how we, everything that we did to put a, a church in power when i come i'm going to share with you many of you don't know that now first time in the history of zambia permanent secretaries go to community house to go and sign document it has never happened in the history ministers are actually crying there are a number of ministers that are talking to me 
and telling me, see, I want, can you believe permanent secretaries going to community house to go and sign government document? You will hear what goes on there. I'm ready. I hope that you are ready. This is an unannounced broadcast. And 11,000 people have watched. And people are saying, see, I want does not have influence. I am going to announce the next one. Let's hit the ground running. God bless you.